Well, as we mentioned at the top of the newscast, Jim Forbes, one of El Paso's sports icons, died this morning at age 69. Someone who was a longtime friend of Forbes is Wayne Thornton, who was a fellow member of the El Paso Athletic Hall of Fame. Wayne joins me now, and I thank you for coming in. Wayne, how long have you known Jim? Well, you know, back in 1973-74, the Utah women's basketball program was just starting, and I met Forbes earlier than that because I started high school in 1972. I'm in college, but you know, when we were up there with the girls basketball team, he would play against the girls to try to elevate their game. And he was so successful at doing that, but even more so, uh, I remember when I graduated from high school and came back to El Paso, because I graduated in Japan. And when I came back, the first two people I saw getting off the plane, arriving in El Paso, was Jim Forbes and Don Haskins getting ready to go to the 1972 Olympics. Uh, just a phenomenal human being. Uh, you think about Coach Forbes, the man, and the, what he has accomplished, but you got to realize he was an outstanding player at Bel Air High School. He had his jersey number 50 that was retired. He goes to UTEP, unbelievable player there as far as what he did for Don Haskins. Then he goes to the coaching profession. He goes to Riverside High School, 1995, takes him to the Final Four, and then he goes to Andrus High School, and he takes them to the Final Four. And I tell you what, he's a great communicator, even though he was soft-spoken and a humble human being because he would always give the praise to his teammates or his players. But Jim Forbes, rest in peace. And to his wife, Mary Jane, just a great individual, great, great humble human being that uh, we in El Paso truly love. And Wayne, was there one memory in particular that, that stands out to you about your relationship with Jim Forbes? Playing against him? You know, one, two things. One thing is the fact that a lot of people can dunk. And when they dunk, they go up and dunk it. But Jim Forbes could duck on you. Jim Forbes would come down the entire court and look, hey, I got Jim Forbes. I got him. I got him stopped. And he would just go up and just dunk on you. The other thing is playing against Jim Forbes. And the many times we just had a good time just being friends, just kicking back and enjoying the atmosphere of being young at that time and being able to say the world was ours. Uh, Jim Forbes, of course, being a coach and many times seeing him on the court or seeing him in the coaching profession, uh, just, just so much fun to be around him. And then in 1989, he got inducted into the El Paso Athletic Hall of Fame, and he continued to be just a great communicator with our young people of today. And even now, he's passed, but he still was coaching this past year with Andrews High School. And I know the Andrews community in Northeast El Paso is truly grieving about Mr. Forbes. And, of course, we lost uh, another sports icon in town, Ray Sanchez, last week. His funeral was today. Can you share a quick memory of, of your relationship with Ray before we have to go here? One of the great gifts in life is to be able to be a writer. And Ray Sanchez was a tremendous writer with the El Paso Herald Post, El Paso Times, and, of course, with El Paso Inc. And even more so, Ray wrote several books, and he was always spotlighting the good things about people. And that was a good thing about Ray Sanchez. He was devoted Dallas Cowboy fan, and even if you didn't like the Cowboys, he would listen to you, and he understood your side of what you were talking about. But even more so, he had just this great gift of writing that you would always see a smile in his words. He was just such a God-given talent, and to his wife, Helen, and to his family as well, we wish them the very best on the El Paso, uh, on behalf of the El Paso Athletic Hall of Fame. Wayne Thornton, thank you for coming in this afternoon.